Hello, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host with the most, Avery of our 32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo brand new band list, Brown Stain. Off of that, like and subscribe button as we climb even further beyond the 1300 ladder. Channel's been blowing up lately, and I really appreciate all of the love support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because Konami gave us a little bit of a Christmas present early, boys and girls. They gave us a brand new band list, and you know what that means? I'm going to be going on a video making spree. I've got market watch to do. I've got a tier list to do. we got a format discussion to do, so make sure you got that ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell on so that you can be part of the A-gang and so that you can get notified of whenever we upload. So be sure to share the videos around too so that we can grow the channel. Now, without any further ado, let's jump on into this tier list. As always, I don't know how to make these things. I just find one. This one looks good enough. Um, so also, uh, I'm very blunt in these, so don't get your little fifis hurt because I'm not going to put it a bottle and breastfeed it to you. I'm going to put a deck where I believe it goes. Of course, we got the tier one. We got the tier two. We've got the rogue category, and then we also have our patented booty, booty, butt, chic category. We do not need two rogue categories, ladies and gentlemen. It's either tier one, tier two, rogue, or booty, booty, butt, cheeks. So yeah, that's where all of the terrible decks go. So if you are new to the channel, enjoy this tier list video. So starting off, uh, we're also going to kind of wrap a little bit of a discussion into uh, this as well. Uh, Math Mech is garbage. <laughs> Uh, this, this deck is just garbage. There was no reason for Circular to get hit, but Konami just decided to kick the deck in the nuts while it was down on the ground, begging for mercy. And the thing is, is that I don't know why they hit it other than to like, I guess, hit Cypress decks in general that could use it as like an engine in like the Firewall Dragon Electric Boogaloo decks, where they would go through all their Cybers monsters and then make like a giant 6,000 attack attic Nister, I guess. I don't really know how those decks function. But regardless, the card's banned now, so you have to play Math Mech like you did before you got Circular, which if you're playing Math Mech, the deck already wasn't doing anything anyway, so I don't really know why you were playing Math Mech. But regardless, um, I really don't know why they hit it. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, Math Mech really wasn't an issue, and I don't really think Cybers slash adding Mr. decks in general were really an issue. Like... I haven't seen the 6,000 attack adding Nister thing, like, since Mystic Mine was a thing. Like, that, that's that been, like, over a year now, so I don't know. Take for that what you will. Next up here, we got to talk about Tier Element. Uh, tier Element is nowhere near on the map. Uh, I wouldn't even put this in the row category, because you have to think about now, you're only playing with the Ashizu Shufflers at this point, Keldeo and Medora, that are both at 1%. And so now you've got two free slots in the deck. Now that Aigido and Kelbeck are gone, what are you going to play? You have to kind of go back to playing the deck like a good stuff pile deck where like we saw people playing like danger, adventure, sprite, tier stuff where your mills maybe weren't the best, but yet as long as you milled a fuser, then you could fuse with whatever other monsters you milled. The problem is, is that Shayrin, Merle, and Hoffenis are all at one. Luckily, the TCG didn't go with what the OCG did and also put tier element cash tier at a one, which really would have hurt the deck more. So I think until we get the Lightsworn stuff, even once we get the Lightsworn stuff in Legacy of Destruction months from now, I don't really think tier element is going to be on the map for quite some time. So if you hate tier, if you despise the deck with a burning passion, I don't think you're going to have to worry about tier anymore at this point. I mean, being able to mill potentially 10 cards with Aigido and Kelbeck is insane, and uh, those cards rightfully deserve to be banned, so I, I don't think we're going to have to worry about those cards for quite a while. Um, next up here, I don't know enough about Sun Avalon. I'm going to be honest with you. I would imagine that the deck is still somewhat rogue, even with my very dry ass and Sunvine Healer uh, at 1, so I just, I don't know enough about the deck. I know it's just a big time combo deck that apparently Europe always loses to, <laughs> but then here in the States, it's garbage. But I would imagine that even with Dry Ass and Healer at one, I mean, I would imagine that you could still do some plays, right? I mean, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, next up is Runic. And this also goes for like Runic variants in general. Um, I think the deck is still sort of a thing. Like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that really makes it terrible now. I mean, unless, like, all the other decks in the room just get better. Yes, they lost Floodgates, but that's only if you really wanted to play the stun version. Um, stun decks in general took a massive hit with Floodgates being hit to one. Um, but, 
I still feel like you can find some success with different runic variants. I mean, hell, even sprites back at full power with starter at three. That being said, going into sprite, I still feel like sprite is more of a rogue category. I feel like sprites have kind of gotten a little bit power crept, which is really weird to say, considering that Power of the Elements was such an insane set. I, I would argue that when it came out, it was the best set of that year. I believe it was in 2022 when it came out. But now I feel like Sprite has just kind of become more of a sub-engine with things like, you know, Runic Bi-Steel or Runic uh, for Hire, you know, things like that. I don't think we're really going to see, like, pure Sprite really be a thing anymore unless, you know, maybe you play Adventure Sprite and just do well. But, I mean, I think Adventure Sprite isn't even all that good, to be honest. It's also not pictured here, and I just realized that. I apologize. Um... But I don't think anything out of Valiant Smashers is all that good. Like, Memento, I think, is still garbage. Uh, the Valmonicas are garbage. Centurion, if it was on here, since, you know, your boy's the self-appointed Centurion King after we came in 10th place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would put Centurion in Tier 2. We still have King Calamity in this format, which amazes me that Konami did not hit King Calamity on this balance with everything that they did. Side note, I also called that this January balance would be a Scorched Earth balance, and uh, some people tried to tell me I was wrong, and I was right, because a lot of shit got hit, so go touch grass, sugar boo bear. No, I'm just kidding. I forgive you. <laughs> but I would put Centurion in Tier 2, because it, it, even if you don't know how to play against the deck... If us, as the Centurion players, don't open up multiple hand traps and we go summon Primera and you imprim us, we're crapping our pants all over the venue. Like, it's bad. So, yeah, like, I still think Centurion goes in Tier 2. Even with the loss of two copies of Tikaboo, now we've got three Desires and we have three Upstart Goblins, so every deck is just 37 cards now. Like, it's actually kind of insane. So keep in mind that that is where I would put uh, Centurion. Um, heroes are still garbage unless your name is Kevin and you go to my locals who always plays fucking heroes. Like, heroes are just kind of whatever. They didn't get touched, but, like, I feel like everything else in the room is just better. Purely, I'm still gonna say is tier two. The fact that Sleepy's at two, so you're not guaranteed to hit it off of the, uh, my friend, but you still have the potential to draw four fucking cards, which is insane. And if you're just playing a bunch of non-engine being hand traps, like in Centurion, and those four cards you draw are hand traps or just gas, like, you're still going to win. Uh, the big X Purely Noir is still a good card. So Purely is definitely not something to overlook going into this format. So this is going to be a hot take. I believe that Mana Demon is going to be a tier 1 deck going into this new format. It was not touched. It still has King Calamity. It is a big-time combo deck. And I feel that it only really benefits from all the gas. You know, again, every deck is 37 cards now that can play 3 Upstart Goblin with 37 other engine cards. Or non-engine, whatever. So, I feel like that only helps the consistency of decks in general. And especially for something like Mana Diem, combo decks in general, really, I feel like that that helps them a lot. Yes, they can get hurt by Droll. Any deck that plays Upstart and then gets Drolled instantly is going to be crapping all over the floor. But for my hot take, I do believe that Mana Diem is going to be a Tier 1 deck. Um, next up, Rescue Ace. I still think it's a Tier 1 deck. Um, Airlifter went to 1. The deck is still at full power. Otherwise, uh, we have Triple Desires now. Uh, Floodgates have been hit to 1 besides Skill Drain. Um, I still feel like that this deck is very good. They lost two Airlifter, but instead they gained three Upstart Goblin and Floodgates got hit. So I still feel like that this deck's going to be very, very good. Uh, and I, I, again, I'm sorry. I just realized that it's not pictured here because this tier list sucks booty holes. Um, Fire Kings, I would also put in tier one because they're only going to get better post Phantom Nightmare and post Maze of Millennia when we get Bonfire. Um, which Bonfire outside of maybe in Centurion, Rescue Ace, and Fire Kings, I don't think it changes much on this tier list. I still feel like Rescue Ace and Fire Kings would be tier one. Um, so do keep that in mind that Rescue Ace and Fire Kings kind of go hand in hand here. Uh, Chimera Branded, I think is still tier two. Uh, Branded, I'm also going to put in tier two. It did get a top four uh, at the end of this format at the latest YCS. I still feel like that these decks are very solid. They're very consistent. They're going to be much more consistent because of the consistency cards like Upstart Goblin that we have now. Um, but I do think that they belong in tier two. I think that these other decks in tier one just kind of snuff them out a bit. Uh, Flunderweez, Flunderweez, it loses to itself and it's garbage, so it's rogue. <laughs> I mean, they don't have to worry about Tikaboo as much anymore. Um, but me being the Centurion player, I'm still just going to make a final Sigma and just have a shit-eating grin and ask them how they out it because they can't use Unexplored Win on the final Sigma because it's considered a card 
uh, being applied to the final sigma, and it's unaffected by all card effects except math met cards, so even that doesn't work. Uh, Vanquish Soul is rogue. I don't know why people continue to say this deck is garbage, because believe it or not, Centurion's one of its worst matchups is not just rogue in general, but also Vanquish Soul. Like, it's actually kind of insane. Um, the red dog for Unchained went to one. Does that really kill the deck? I'm going to make an argument that... I, you could say tier 1.5, but if I feel like that's why I don't do tier 1.5s and 1.75s on my tier list, because if you're going to do shit with decimals, you might as well put it in tier 1 or tier 2, just make up your fucking mind. Um, so I, you could make the argument it's 1.5, but just put it in tier 1 at that point. Exorcist is garbage. Uh, no. Punk is garbage. I'd rather stick my Ultra Ball inside of a toaster. <laughs> um, trap Tricks, I'd rather stick my whole body in a toaster than play that deck. Um, I don't know why Revolution Synchron is pictured here. I feel like anything like Stardust Synchron shenanigans is just garbage. Um, but maybe you could do some Revolution Synchron shenanigans in tier now that they lost Aigido and Kelbeck. I don't know. I still feel like tier is garbage. I feel like there are so many other decks in the room that you could be playing that you'll just see success with. Uh, Labyrinth, I'm going to argue, is still tier two. Uh, Eradicator did not get banned, unfortunately. And we also get Transaction Rollback of all things. Jesus Christ, I just remembered that in maze of millennia so this deck just becomes insane every trap deck becomes insane at that point and we still have no red reboot so that's going to be fun uh marin says is garbage uh just play something else uh makanko's garbage it only did well because people didn't know what it did and once people knew what it did it was garbage salad this deck is garbage unless you play me with it you could be the worst player in the room i always lose to salad and i don't know why Infernoble, I'm still going to say is tier 2, because you still have lines with Angelica, from what I understand. Like, even though you lost, I sold. You can just go for Angelica and still have plays. Um, Dark World, just lose to Droll. The deck's bad. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's bad. I, I No, no, I'm sorry. I think that's Altergeist, isn't it? Altergeist is bad. Don't play Altergeist. Sky Striker is rogue. They've got three upstart now and three desires. Um, going second is actually really good this format. Oh, that's something else I want to talk about. So, going second... Um, if you're like my dad who wants to play eight axis, you're actually kind of doing yourself a big favor because outside of cash Tira, um, I think that that's one of the actual, the best going second decks in the room next to like sky striker. Um, because now you have so many options available to you. You have triple desires, triple upstart, a snatch steal, like rank eight axis decks low key may actually be kind of good. Um, and yes, we're going to talk about Orcus in a minute after we talk about Cash Tira. Same goes for Cash Tira. Um, it's a solid going second deck and Unicorn's back at three. The only thing that Cash Tira's don't have access to now is uh, a Rise Heart and uh, Diabolsis. But you could still play the deck like a going second stun deck with triple D shifter, I would imagine. Uh, or even just a going second deck with board wipes and just win. Like, that's not bad at all. Uh, also, for Orcus, uh, it's going to be rogue at best probably for the first couple weeks of the new format. And then people are going to drop it. I don't think that Orcus, even with just a car, is really going to make that big of an impact. Maybe as a sub-engine in something else. But to go back to toss format, which... I hated that format, side note. But to go back to that, like when we had Triple Harpoor and all this fun shit, I just don't see it, man. I don't think it's going to be all that great. I think people putting on their nostalgia glasses, trying not to run into walls and shit, being blind. Um, Dragon Link. Dragon Link is tier two. It, it's it's not bad. Uh, Sword Soul, I feel like it's starting to get power corrupt. Um, the horse stuff I think is going to be rogue, especially with the new stuff that we get out of Phantom Nightmare. So I think that that's everything I covered. Again, I know not everything is pictured. I tried to include everything in my discussion. If you don't see a deck on here, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. But if it's not on here, it's probably because it's in the booty, booty, butt cheek category and it's just garbage. Like for example, I saw a uh, tier list on here that included dinosaurs and I'm not going to do a tier list with fucking dinosaurs in it because dinosaurs are garbage. <laughs> so it, it goes in the booty, booty, butt cheek category. So if you don't see a deck here, it's either bad or I just forgot to mention it but do leave a comment and I can let you know if it belongs in the booty booty butt cheek category needs to be flushed down the toilet or maybe it should go on up in a tier one category with all the other big boys and girls guys let me know what you think down in the comments below thank you so much for watching I, yeah I just messed up my own outro I will see you in the next video I'm so excited for this format